an important dietary component. In fact, the body is dependent upon them for proper functioning. Most of you may already know that there's three categories of fats, saturated, polyunsaturated, and monounsaturated fats. These fats are found in plant and animal-based foods. It was once thought that saturated fats were all bad because they are converted by the body into cholesterol and that polyunsaturated fats were all good. But we're seeing more and more that the picture is a little more complex than that. Palm and coconut oils have been rather controversial. Both have been linked to undesirable health effects related to cardiovascular disease and some benefits as well. These oils may very well have a place in a healthy balanced diet as long as they're used in small amounts. Palm fruit oil, because it's essentially taste-free, has found new life in butter substitutes, smart margarines, and shortenings as an upgrade over trans-rich hydrogenated fats. Coconut fat, if you like the taste, can take the place of both butter and margarine. Monounsaturated fats are found in olive oil, and they're a lot more stable. What that means is, not only do they not go rancid on the shelf, but they do better in the body as well. When choosing olive oil, it's best to go with extra virgin. It comes from the first pressing of the olives with no heat or chemicals used to extract the oil. It's known as cold pressing, and it preserves the natural benefits. It's also advisable to choose the lowest acidity with no more than 0.08%. Light olive oils, light having to do with the color and degree of olive flavor, not the total fat content, are more refined and stripped but it still contains more omega-9 than any other oil. Some fats we absolutely have to get from foods. Alpha-linoleic acids, or omega-3s, found in plant foods are good for the body. When we eat these, the body turns these into EPAs and DHAs that we usually associate with the healthy fish oils. Linoleic acid, or LA, in omega-6, it is converted in the body to important functioning compounds but also to pro-inflammatory ones. Unfortunately, oils in the high omega-6 fats are used more than any other in processed foods, and their sources are given in high amounts to livestock that becomes food. So as described earlier, meats, poultry, and even fish are higher in omega-6s than they should be. Therefore, proper attention really needs to be given to getting enough omega-3 fatty acids in order to balance the diet. 